Hello, I'm Jason with Hypnotic Intervention Relaxation Therapy. Thank you for joining me. I wanted to talk with you today about a subject that quite often I feel gets away from us, and it's sanitation. I was taught a very specific way to sanitize my table after each use, after each client departs from the table and uh, have posted my protocol in still picture form on my Facebook page, um, Hypnotic Intervention Relaxation Therapy, in the past. But today I thought that I would try making a video so that you could see the actual process that I go through uh, between each client. Client comfort is number one priority for me, and their safety as well. There's a lot going on in the world. People come to me over the years, and during the winter and the spring, um, they often have the sniffles, they may have a cold, they may be just getting over the flu, things like that. I would feel really bad if somebody had been on my table with any uh, condition and I had not done my due diligence in the sanitation process and the next person picked up something. So let me show you what I go through after each person gets off my table. going to be adjusting the camera throughout our discussion today. Okay, this is my table. I apologize for that uh, bottom sheet there. It's a little bit wrinkled and disheveled. Everything is clean, but I don't mind tearing it apart to show you what I do. Let me turn on a light uh, here so that we can see what we're doing, okay? All right, hopefully that's better and we can see what we're doing now. Moving the camera again, back to the table, okay. What we see is that we have our table, we have the uh, face cradle, is covered with face cradle cover. We have the fitted sheet over the table, and we have the flat sheet which covers the body. I was always taught in school that when somebody gets off your table, you need to strip everything back to the bare table. So let's start with that, okay? I start by taking the flat sheet, take that off, and put it into our clothes hamper, which is over here in this closet. We just simply throw that in the hamper. While I'm up here, I take the face cradle cover off, and again I put that into the hamper. Next, I begin by removing the fitted sheet from the table, and you can remove that very easily. Again, I take this to the hamper, and just toss it in there. All right, this is my bare table. Camera around here for you. And what you notice now is that we have a bare table, a vinyl or a leather table that has a bolster down here for the ankles that can also be moved up for the knees to provide extra comfort for the person receiving their massage. And 
up here at the top, I have discovered that placing a bolster just under, just below the face cradle allows the person to sit up a little bit higher and be more comfortable when they put their face into the face cradle. What we do next, what I do next, is I take my disposable disinfectant wipes. Okay? Open them up. Every surface gets clean. I start with the bolster for the ankles and the knees, just simply wiping over the entire thing, get all surfaces. And set that aside. Allow it to dry. Dispose of your cloth when you're done into a trash bag. Take another disposable cloth and we begin by wiping the bottom part of the table. And be sure to get across the entire width of your table here. I like to go around the sides just simply because Jones may like to travel, who doesn't like to travel, and uh, we just want to make sure that we get that. Again, dispose of your cloth when you are done. Taking another fresh cloth, we come up to the other bolster and we are going to very simply wipe this bolster down just as we did with the other one. Front and back making sure that all the surfaces are touched. Set it aside and dispose of your cloth. Taking another fresh cloth, we are going to do our face cradle and we're going to wipe the entire surface of the face cradle, the outside and the inside. If you have a shelf underneath your face cradle for them to rest their arms, you can wipe that down as well. All right. Again, when you are done, dispose of your cloth. Taking one more cloth, we are going to get the upper part of the table. And just wiping it down, Go down, maybe overlap a little bit of where you wipe down the lower part of the table. And again, get the edges all the way around. When you're done, dispose of your cloth. All right. Let's give the fan a few moments to dry off the table and I will show you something else that I did. But while we're waiting for that to dry, let me tell you uh, my reasoning behind this. In school, when I was learning to be a massage therapist, we used portable tables. and like I said, we were taught to strip everything back to the table and to sanitize the table between each person with the sanitizing wipes. 
on these tables. It was just the leather or the vinyl table. You would put sheets over them and the person would get on there. When I finished school, I started working at a spa and it was a wonderful experience. In the spa, they tend to cater more to comfort of the person. So, in the spa, you didn't just have the naked table. But on top of your table was often an egg crate. You had a table warmer. and a table skirt. The tables that we used in the spa were not portable. They were pieces of furniture, which is what this table is as well. And they look very nice. They are a higher quality of construction they are meant to blend in with what is going on in the room and it's wonderful. The downside is that over the years I've tried many different tables and I have used portable tables in my private practice. And when I decided to change tables, I found the most wonderful thing. It was a table with a built-in table warmer. The table warmer was underneath the leather surface and it could be stripped back to just what I have shown you and disinfected. It was wonderful. My hesitation for using a table warmer aftermarket, an add-on, an egg crate, a uh, table skirt, is that all of those items are cloth. They're porous. They absorb. Current thought has that you are supposed to change out your mattress every six to eight years. Because as we sleep, as we lounge in our beds, we tend to slough off skin, we tend to sweat, we tend to drool. Body fluids are being put into those por porous surfaces. So I've tended to stay away from the aftermarket that goes on top of the leather or the vinyl because you can't disinfect it without running it through the wash and then that's going to tear up the electronics that are in the table warmer and uh, you know cause all kinds of problems. You can wash the table skirts, uh, you can't wash the egg crate too easy. So my solution was just to do the table but then I found that portable table that had the built-in um, table warmer and it was wonderful I implemented that into my practice my customers came in and they were like wow you have this nice warm table it's wonderful well I changed tables I got one without a table warmer they got on the table and they're like can you turn up the heat well I don't have a table warmer in this table. Oh, okay. They were okay, they were a little disappointed. So I found the importance of a table warmer. But again, I didn't want to use the aftermarket product. So when I decided to go with the more furniture like uh, table, I looked and I looked and I looked. I did not find one with the built-in table warmer. I was disappointed. So I bought 
the furniture piece anyway and started using it. And again, like I said, people that come to me on a regular basis would get on my table. They'd be like, can you turn up the heat? Well, I'm sorry, this one doesn't have the table warmer. Oh, okay. Then I discovered a really unique item. I showed you the fitted sheet that fits over the top of the table. They also made a fitted vinyl sheet. Ta-da! And since I enjoy using a table skirt right here, here's what I've done. I got the fitted vinyl sheet. Fits nice and snug, and it protects against uh, spills and uh, fluids being transmitted. You can wipe it down with a disinfectant cloth. It is wonderful, let me tell you. Definitely worth the investment. For the back. What that allowed me to do is that allowed me to use a table skirt right here, but not only my table skirt, which when I would use these before on the table that had the built-in table warmer, I would strip these off and after every use and I would launder them uh, in laundry detergent and bleach with my regular uh, table linen. And let me tell you, I was doing a lot of laundry. So now I can put the table skirt on and pull the vinyl sheet over it, and that protects it from becoming contaminated. Let's throw this back. For comfort, I have a couple of bath sheets, towels, terry towels, that are on here. And that's just an extra layer. When I was at the spa working in the resort, our guest used to often comment on how luxurious and how magnificent the beds were. They were very comfortable. And they always wanted to know, what is the thread count? higher the thread count, of course, the softer the material. And so I asked my manager at one point about that. And she said, uh, it's 250. Well, 250 is what most people use on their home linens for their bedding. Uh, so that couldn't be the reason. Then I had the opportunity to see how they make the beds. The reason they were so luxurious is because of all the different layers. So I have a couple of towels on here that are uh, a little more than the average thickness, but that provides for wonderful, wonderful uh, feeling. Then I have the table warmer. The aftermarket table warmer straps onto your table right here. And we're going to unstrap it so that I can show you. But anyway, there and because the controls are over this edge. I'm not going to take all that apart. But this is the raw table, okay? Now like I told you, I was taught to take everything down to the raw table. If I were taking everything to the raw table, I can wash the table skirt, I can wash the towels. I cannot wash the table warmer. 
because it has the electrodes in it that radiate the heat that would not hold up. So I was able with the help of the uh, of the vinyl sheet to put my aftermarket table warmer on top of the original table. For comfort, I add a couple of towels on top of the table warmer. As you may have noticed this, it is at the foot, so it's rarely noticed, but adding a towel over it kind of cushions it. And then I can put my table skirt on the table. I can seal all of this with my vinyl sheet. If it's nice and snug, and voila, you have what appears to be just a naked table. All of my clients love the luxury, the softness of my table. The heat that comes from the table. Now, let's rebuild the table. After every client, of course, you're going to strip the old linen that they had been laying on and put that into your laundry basket hamper. And then you are going to sanitize your table, as I showed you before, disposing of the sanitizing cloths as you go. Then after everything is dried, which it has now, we're going to rebuild our table. So let's start. Remember the bolster? Okay. Let's put this back up here, just below our face cradle. Again, the bolster just below the face cradle helps to elevate the person's chest and makes it a little more comfortable for them when they have their head in the face cradle. It also, when they turn over, I simply ask them to scoot down so that their head is on the pillow beneath the face cradle. And it allows me to be able to work nicely on their neck when they're in the supine position. Okay. Now we're going to take the ankle bolster and put it back on the bottom of the table, down where your feet would go. All right, well, let's grab a fresh set of sheets. There's my sheet drawer. And we will grab a fresh set of sheets. And we are going to start with our face cradle cover. Your fresh face cradle cover will be put over I just 
just thought of something. A lot of people use fleece as an added layer to their face cradle. And it's wonderful because it gives a little extra cushion. I'm going to take a hand towel and put it on my face cradle first. Take your hand towel, you work it down through the crescent. Then we can take our face cradle cover we can fit that over the hand towel. Thank you for that wonderful idea. I owe you one. Then we're going to take our fitted sheet, open it up, and we will start by hooking it at the bottom of the table, and we will pull it up over the bolsters, and then hook it here at the top of the table. See the bottom of the table, and at the bottom of the table, we are going to take our flat sheet and we are going to unfold it very carefully. Again, in massage school, I was taught not to shake the sheets just simply because that releases lint into the air. We want to keep things nice and sanitary for the person who is going to be on our table next. So we take our flat sheet and we lay it unfolded into half a sheet that is folded in half and lay it over the foot of the table and I come down and I take the top part of that half and I fold it back over the top of that Make a few little adjustments there. And this way, the person getting on the table, you have nicely folded the top sheet down. They can get on the table, and whether you start them face up or face down, they can pull the sheet by grabbing this edge and just pull it up over them. Thank you very much for spending time with me this day and allow me to show you my protocol for sanitation on my massage table. I look forward to hearing from you. If this has been helpful, please like my channel and uh, subscribe. And if you have anything in particular that you would like to see, please, please leave me a note and let me know what it is. Um, your ideas are wonderful and we'll see what we can do as far as coming up with something uh, for the channel. 
I thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.